Hey everyone, welcome back to BlenderDiplom.com. I'm Gottfried Hofmann and in this 2.8 preview I will show you the new defaults we will have in Blender but there is also news on the icon front in the tool shelf. So let's start with the icons. You might notice that the move, rotate and scale icons have been changed again. They are way simpler than before and um, no longer colored which was a request by the community and I think this really makes sense. And when I go to edit mode, you might also see that all the other icons are now rendered in orthographic mode, which means they are flat and no longer, they don't longer have, no longer have a perspective like they had before, which I also think makes sense. And you might notice that when I hover over the icons, it's no longer that they are slightly desaturated by default and only get fully saturated when I hover over them. No, they are fully saturated again. Then there are a few other things that have changed you might already have noticed. For example, here at the top, we now have the header of our 3D view. Before it was on the bottom and that has been changed for almost every editor type. With a few exceptions, like for example, the timeline where the header is still at the bottom. And I really think it makes sense to um, put the header to the top because I mean, they're called headers anyway. And here on the right, you might notice that uh, it's now by default showing the object properties instead like before the render properties. And here in the object properties, you already see that um, here location is now by default set in meters. Actually, all the units are now metric by default, which although totally makes sense because beforehand we had this um, default blender units which in reality just was meters and stuff but um, with a different abstract units so it really makes sense that it's now metric by default and when you look here in the 3d view the cube looks a little different than um, before and that is because these uh, settings for the camera and the viewport camera the defaults are now perspective but a focal length of 50 millimeters and a sensor size of 36 millimeters that is full frame and that are actually really good defaults because especially the focal length of 50 millimeter is way closer to our human vision than the 35 millimeters we had before. Now let me remove this cube and add something else like maybe a UV sphere and open up an image editor here. And if I go into edit mode, you now see that it got by default a UV layout. This was possible before in Blender already, but you had to click it down in the tool options when you edit a, an object that you wanted UVs. Now by default, every object you add gets UVs, which is also a pretty nice addition. And now when I add a um, plane and go into rendered view, uh, you might notice that there is um, no longer this um, problem that the um, that things are getting too bright and we got um, like um, clipping or stuff. And that is because by default, the color management now is ta-da, filmic. I guess this is also one of those things you will enjoy really much because beforehand, uh, most of you probably switched when they inch into cycles and turned on filmic and then started working. You don't need to do this anymore. Filmic is the new default. And by the way, the lamp strength for lamps added in EV has also been increased tenfold. So this um, abstract energy type is now 10, but that's not the case when we are switching to cycles. You already notice that the lamp is now less strong by default in cycles than in EV, but I guess they will um, make this match soon. And by the way, in case I am rendering, which I won't do now, the default display type is now new window which means um, it's no longer the image editor, but um, it will create a new window by default. I mean, 
I really liked it to be um, the um, image editor, but I guess I can get used to it when I start a new scene that it's now new window. So now I'd like to know from you, what do you think about those new defaults? Um, do they all make sense? Or maybe only a few of them make sense? Maybe do you like none of them at all? Let me hear in the comments, please, because I'd really like to hear your input. And as always, do try this at home, which means go to builder.blender.org and grab a 2.8 build. Link is in the description.